What's going on guys? Today I am doing something that I told you we were going to be doing uh, a couple weeks ago and that is we are painting crankbaits. Now I've kind of uh, jumped the gun on y'all and kind of went ahead and started practicing on a couple baits. Uh, I think I've done like three or four. Um, some turned out alright, some didn't, but uh, today we're going to practice doing this awesome color that I, I came up with the other day. We're going to redo it, but we're going to do it on video. And that is this black and blue crawl. And as you can tell, it's got a little hint of purple on this and then some uh, black splatter. So today we're going to try that out. Um, I know I posted it up on social media and it got uh, a huge amount of positive responses. So we're going to get into that. I'm going to figure out how I'm going to uh, film this. I don't know if I'm going to put on a chesty or if I'm going to mount the camera somewhere. But we're going to get to painting. I am going to try and paint a six cents curve or crush crankbait. I don't know which one yet, but we'll get into it. Let's hit the workbench. All right, guys, so we got our white blank here. I uh, went ahead and already painted it, but we're gonna be using opaque black, opaque purple, <clears throat> opaque blue, and that's about it. We're just gonna use those three main colors and uh, get this design. Now I have my, this is how I make my crawl um, pattern on, it's just kind of like a little jagged edge, kind of backwards L or forwards L, whichever way you want to think. But we're going to put it on there and then we're just going to keep doing it all the way down. So to start out with, we're going to start out with this opaque purple right here. I know the lighting's not the best, but we're going to work with what we got. So I'm going to go ahead and mix some of this up already and we'll get back to it. Alright guys, so I got my purple mixed up in there. We're going to spray about half of the uh, bait purple and then we're going to come back and spray the other half, the back half blue. Um, the reason I do purple first is I feel that uh, when I darken up the blue a little bit with the black, it's going to fade better. And uh, from that first bait, I can already tell that that was the way to go. Let's get it here. And it doesn't have to be perfect um, the whole time because uh, you can always go back over it and get spots that you missed if you didn't uh, add enough purple or make it dark enough you can always go back over after you heat dry it and get those other spots Get the front here. Alright, now we're going to heat dry this, and if we miss any spots, we'll correct it, and then we'll mix on the blue. Now that we got all the purple done, I'm going to mix up this blue. Now the thing with the blue is, is I, I wanted it to be a little bit darker when I made the bait. So I added, uh... I think it was about seven drops of blue and one drop of black just to give it a little darker tint. 
So let me mix that up real quick and we'll get to spraying the blue on. All right, so I got this blue mixed up now in here, got a little bit of it, and we're going to spray on the blue. Now I'm starting from the back half of the bait going forward to kind of blend in the colors because I don't want a real hard edge on the uh, blue and purple side. So that's the reason I'm going from the back to the front now. And there you have it. Now we're going to get this uh, heat set and start adding the black. For this black, I don't really have to reduce it, so I'm just going to pour it straight into my airbrush. And we're going to uh, do the eye, and we're going to make the little crawl shells, and then put a straight black line over the back of it. Uh, the reason I do that is because the bait is so dark anyways that you really can't see the lines on the top and it kind of connects them. So that way, um, you know, you don't really see the, the hard line of it and it kind of fades it down. It looks a little better, I think. Um, plus, when the fish look at it, it's just going to be a dark bait. So they're not really going to look at the detail. Uh, you can connect them and I may in the future. But for right now, we're just going to do the shell and just a black line over the over the top. All right, so the reason I put on a glove uh, just on this hand is because I'm going to be holding this and spraying with my right hand. Now, when I put this on, I don't want to be touching the bait. So uh, oil and all that stuff can get on the bait and ruin the epoxy coat. So that's why I only have glove on this hand. So let's get to spraying this and the eyes. We're going to kind of set that right there. And what I'm doing is I'm going to spray on the cardboard and let the over spray kind of make the design. And we'll go a little further down. And we'll do one more in there. So now we have our crawl pattern, and we're going to go and do it on the reverse side. Now what I like to do with this is I like to just take a, a rag and just kind of wipe this off. Um, you don't have to pat it dry, just wipe it off, it, it'll come off. That way you don't get paint on the uh, other side of the bait where you don't want it. Oh, jeez. 
Alright, so let's, let's make this flat right here, and it makes it easier. Alright. We'll go here again. There's one. There's two. There's three, and our last one. All right, so now we're gonna uh, we're gonna do the eyes. I left uh, the eyes that were on there before, just so they pop out a little bit. But we're just gonna give them a little shot right here. Just to darken them up. And it makes like a perfect, just solid black eye. And we're going to do the same thing on this side. And we'll go ahead and heat set this. Alright, now we're going to start by, we're just going to connect all these just by a solid black line on the back. So, we'll put the bait right about there, make sure it's flat and even, and go for it. And we'll get the front. And we'll kind of wrap it around to the, the front of the nose there. And we'll heat set that. All right, so for this next part, I'm gonna have to put on another glove and it's kind of messy, but we're gonna take this toothbrush and we're gonna dip it in some paint and we're just going to, all along the bait, just kind of spray it on there to give it those little specks that we need. All right, so, we got our couple drops right here, and I'm just gonna get this all loosened up just because it has paint on it, as you can see, and it kind of gets a little stiff, but we're just gonna dip it in there and then take our brush and kind of just fling it on there. And as you notice, it'll give you a bunch of little specks on there, and we'll do it to the whole The whole bait. All right, so you can see, no, you can barely see it, but it'll show up in the, uh, once we put the clear coat on there, you'll be able to see that, uh, all those little spots and stuff. And so just kind of make sure that we get it kind of all over the bait, um, places. And if you have bigger blotches, that will make for a pretty good spot on there too, because not all spots are, you know, the same size. So we'll take that off there. I kind of use that as a, a little backdrop so it doesn't uh, get all over my other workstation even though there's paint everywhere. But that is it. Uh, now you got a little kind of purplish blue 
and then the black kind of just makes everything a little bit darker, which I like because if you're throwing a black and blue jig or anything to imitate a black and blue craw, you want it to be kind of dark so they can uh, recognize it in dirty water. But that's about it. We're going to put a clear coat on there and it'll be finished. All right, guys. So that is how I paint my black and blue crawl with a little hint of purple in it. Um, if you want to know how to do all the other stuff like epoxy it or uh, apply a, a white coat on it, just let me know down in the comments below. Uh, it's, I mean, it's all pretty simple except for the epoxy, but I'm still trying to figure out the epoxy myself. Um, but for my fifth, fourth bait, whatever, it did turn out too bad. So, uh, let me know what you think. If you can give me any pointers, like I said at the beginning of this series, if you can give me any pointers, that would definitely help. Uh, I know there's a Facebook page that I'm on right now, and there's, there's so much information there that people have been giving me over the past couple days since I decided to start. Um... But if you have any advice, please leave a comment down below. If you like this video, hit that thumbs up button. Please subscribe so you can catch more of this series as we go along and we make better and better baits. Um, I should be getting a package in or making an order uh, next week for some uh, blank crankbaits, split rings, hooks. And uh, we'll get to more colors there. I've already got a bunch of people asking me... Uh, if they can make if I can make them that color that specific color so hopefully hopefully they turn out good and I can get this epoxy deal down to where uh, they come out smooth and crisp but thanks for watching and we'll catch you next time